Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Earth Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. And a weekend full of great matchups. The Pac-12 is no exception. And me and Will and D, we preview another big Pac-12 showdown with the UCLA Bruins traveling on the road to the Utah Utes. We go over whether we feel like that the Bruins can go to Rice Eccles and get a big win, or whether that the Utah Utes, with or without Cam Rising, can get the job done against the Bruins. UCLA, Utah. This is a game that I'm just very conflicted with here because Cam Rising is is a difference maker. And him being out makes Utah not as good. And I don't think he's going to be playing in this game. I haven't heard any indication that he will be available for this game. If he was, and he, like if he was playing all year, I'd pick Utah in a heartbeat. But UCLA, though, Dante Moore has been good. You know, he, he's, he's showing his, advertised for sure. He's showing his athleticism. He's running the ball. Utah is only favored by four and a half. That tells you a lot yeah. because it's in Rice Eccles. They're only favored by four and a half. I mean, three point advantage is usually the spread. So if you're favored by three, it's usually the home difference, you know, the home field advantage. So a lot of people think UCLA could win this one. And, and UCLA, you know, they had a lot of success last year. They beat Washington in a big game. So they, they're capable. I don't know. I think that Dante Moore can get it done, but I, I feel like Rice Eccles is still going to be too much. The home crowd of Utah is insane, and, and, and that's where a lot of teams go to lose. Even USC last year, granted, it was with mm -hmm. Rising. I think Utah is going to win 28-24. I'm not confident in it, though, because of the fact that Cam Rising is probably not playing, and, and their backup quarterback, Bryson Barnes and Nate Johnson, they're, they're solid, but they make more mistakes than Rising. But I, I think they're going to get it done with the home environment. I don't know, man. Like, I got to lean UCLA without Cam Rising. I just think he's that big of a difference. I'm going 31 27 Bruins. I'm not trying to just be like Mr. Argumentative here, but. No, you're good. I mean, I, I want to pick UCLA, but it, I mean, Rice Eccles, they don't lose there. Yeah. They never lose. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it would be huge for Dante Moore to win this game. Like yeah. his first massive road test. I mean, yeah. he, like he can make a couple mistakes in this game because of that environment. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how much of a difference Rice Eccles make. Kind of like Autzen. You know, some of these environments, look at Tennessee mm -hmm. at the Swamp. You know, that's why I'm such a home foot advantage guy. That That's why in 2020 when there were no fans, it made everything different because yeah. you don't have those environments. The environments change games. The, the crowd can sometimes be 14 to 21 point difference. So, like, if UCLA is 14 points better than Utah, you know, on a neutral or at UCLA, Utah crowd makes a difference. So, I mean, you could be right. Mm -hmm. I, I almost went UCLA because I know I'm, I'm heavily picking home team except with Wisconsin, but I'm, I'm going Utah. I could mm -hmm. be wrong, though. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below whether you think that Chip Kelly and the UCLA Bruins can get a massive road win at Rice Eccles or whether you think that Kyle Whittingham will be able to lead his youth team to a big win over the Bruins. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description, and I will see you next time.